up, y'all? This is Drunk in the Sun with Joe and Tom. Guess what? We're going to uh, get drunk and talk about everything under the sun. <laughs> Show about anything and anything under the sun. We didn't do that. All right. Let's do it. This episode yeah. is fire. Check us out every week on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Spotify. Oh, shit. I come at you every week. First of all, this is for entertainment. We're not educational. Yeah. We're not. If you're coming to get your education from us, you are clearly misguided. Exactly. But, but check us out. We're the show about anything and everything under the sun. We check us out. I show up. Like, what are you doing in there? He's like, I swear to God. Swear to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's legit. I don't think it's legit. Either. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all, man? This is Drunk in the Sun with John. I said John. John. <laughs> John. No, it's Tom. Tom and Joe. God damn, how drunk am I? Hey guys! What's going on? Oh, that's just drinking. Ah, screaming, I deserve this. <laughs> what did he deserve? Fuck! Like and subscribe so you get the notifications when we do drop something. Probably pretty fucking lame. But anyways, check it out. Drinking the Sun, podcast about anything and everything under the sun. Something just happened to me at work here recently. That, like, I'm not really worried about, but it's kind of funny. Like, we got these uh, scanners at work that you, like, it's just like a little handheld computer. Tells you where shit is. Blah 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 blah. Right. Working in a warehouse, you probably worked with something. RF like scanners. Yeah, radio, something. <coughs> radio frequency scanners. Yeah, it, it pops up. and Goes B twelve to tells you where quantity you go location. But you can't scan with it. And shit. what? Yeah, because you got you got to scan the scan the barcode and scan the tag, the sign to yeah. it saying that you took it out. Exactly. Yeah. Shit like that, but it's not it's not attached to it. It's just like a handle. It looks like a Oh remote. really? You got like Look, a gun? It, it looks like a remote control. Yeah. Kind of. But anyways, I ran one of those motherfuckers over. <laughs> it was on the side of my forklift. You ran it over? Yeah. I and I uh so I'm worried that if they look at the tape <laughs> if they look at the tape <laughs> They're gonna find you or the culprit. No no no. I turned myself. Did you not in. tell him? No, I told him. Oh. I, I was like, I was proud of myself, you know. I was like, I'll do it. Like, just tell me what the fuck it, who do I email? Who do I tell? And I told him. And I sent <laughs> a picture. Who do I tell on myself? <laughs> yeah. And I sent a picture of it. Like, this is what I did. <laughs> that's the best thing to do. Exactly. It really is. But if they look at the tape, like, when you drive a forklift, you're supposed to drive with two feet. Well, what kind One, of forklift is this? It's a propane. Oh, like sit down? Sit down forklift. So you've got you're supposed to have one foot on the brake, one foot on the gas. Well, I'm driving it like a car, one <laughs> foot, right? Just do it. <laughs> yeah. So my foot gets caught underneath the brake, so I don't stop in time, and I kind of hit a skid. Kind of like the skid's fine, and the power right beside the skid's fine, but I hit it, and that's what causes the instrument to fall off my forklift. Oh. And then I'm like. <laughs> Just go and run. You didn't notice it. No, well? I noticeably go. Bloom, bloom. <laughs> really? Yes. So if they look at it, they'll see this shit and they'll be like, "Drug test him," and I'll be like, "Ah, I'll, I'll do it." Or, or they go, "You know what? Just buy another RF gun." He's I mean, fine. I hear like, they Joe, have Joe, insurance. Just don't do it again. Just don't do it I again. I hear they Joe. have insurance. Like I'm not, I'm not even Dude. worried about it. But I'm just saying, if they look here's at the thing, date. though. Well, they, it doesn't matter because you know why it doesn't matter because you're willing to work. <laughs> you're right. Do they have you're a right. now hiring sign in their window? Yeah, they do. Yes, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're like, fuck it, just buy another one. We can barely get by. <laughs> you're right, and I've done a lot of shit. Like I'm a supervisor there. I've done a lot of shit. Like I've, you're a supervisor. I've, a bad one, <laughs> but I'm a supervisor. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have somebody underneath me in the computer, even, right? I approve, I approve this guy's timesheet. I can say no. <laughs> I have some power. <laughs> really? He was here at five after, not eight. <laughs> I mean, it shows me. But anyways, I'm just like, 
Yeah, but I don't know if I the really approval shit is just whatever. Yeah, I just, I've been there, done that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been there, done that. Yeah. And I, I, I but I run that thing I don't like over. being a supervisor. I don't either. It's it like sucks. being an adult all over again. Yeah, it's it's worse because you like it's ex- worse. You're it's like, worse because they're like, "What are you gonna do?" I'm like, "Well, I guess you're fired." So what? And they walk but, away. But at the same time, it's like sometimes, sometimes you aspire to be there. Like being an adult. I want to be an adult so bad as a kid. Then when you get there, you're like, I wanted this? <laughs> like, why no, do I see, want the, this? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, the only time I ever wanted to be an adult was so I could buy certain things. I'm, that's, that's really <laughs> the only time. I, like, I, I never wanted to I think rules. that's the rule. I never wanted bills. I never wanted the car <laughs> payment. I mean, we don't know I about wanted the car, <laughs> but I didn't want to pay it. But you don't really necessarily know or understand that as a kid. No, as a kid, you're like, I want to be. This shit. <laughs> on, but but I really didn't though. I remember growing up. I I remember wanting to be eighteen and twenty one. I remember being. Sure eight, I want to be eighteen. I'm like I'm leaving as soon as I turn eighteen. <laughs> and then I get out of the stream like, mommy, can I come home? <laughs> I thought he was leaving. No, no, I want to sleep in my bed. It's just how you left it. The race car? <laughs> yeah. No, I had I got a different one. I got a different Lamborghini. For people who know, when I was a kid, I used to have a waterbed no, you've Lamborghini. Covered it. You've covered it. It's on the show. We've got it. Is it? <laughs> yeah. With Elise, she she talks about it to this day. Really? About your race car waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. See? I told you I'm funny anywhere I go. That's why I know I'm a comedian. I think I should be getting paid for this shit. Are we, I mean, yes. Yes. I'll take some of the pay. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you're right. <laughs> we can negotiate. It's too funny. I'll take some of the pay. Oh, but shit. by this point, I feel like we should be. But anyways, I mean, being being a boss sucks balls because I look at it as if I forgot what we were talking about. Know, right? <laughs> uh, this could all be cut though. So it go. But it was just like it was one of those things. Like I related it to being eighteen or twenty one. I want to be there, and then once I got there, I'm like. <laughs> no, Whoa, be a supervisor. Sucks. I would rather be told what to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. I function better that way. <laughs> unless, unless it's me, unless it's me being exactly in charge. Well, like, or something that no, like, like I, because like I, I could, I don't like being a supervisor at like a McDonald's or a fucking uh, warehouse or a fucking factory. But if I was the boss on a movie set. Oh, well, fucking... see, that's something you want to do, though. Yes, that's but a dream. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah. It'd be different. It'd because be... it's what you want to do. Yeah, but I could do that one. I could tell people what to do. Cause I, but, like... it's a, but it's a different circumstance. Different it's circumstance. not like, hey, count all these for me. <laughs> or whatever the yeah. <laughs> Make sure this is the right. <laughs> I want to frame it for a minute. But, but, yeah. But I could see that. But that's something you want to do. But then that's how that's the only real like position as a leader that I because I've been supervisor a mm-hmm. couple places yeah and fucking now one place all everybody who was underneath me loved me more than anybody else yeah because I wasn't an asshole I, and I, I fucking, tried to be that I just way. I just fucking I treated you the way you know and said hey just can you do this now can you do this more, more? and everybody is was really cool. Yeah. You know, fucking, um, and I tried to be that. And it worked. I just have a trouble. I have trouble now and then because a lot of times I just, like, I'm told kind of things that they want to see done and then I just tell them to do it. So it's not really like, well, see, and then I can see, do, so, so here's the thing and this is what I've also come across was like, if you just, if you give people, say, hey, this is your task for the day, I need this done. Yes. This is the bare minimum. This need, don't ever do that, because then they'll be like, "Well, I'll only do the bare minimum." Exactly. Like, hey, I need you to get this, this, and this done before you leave. And if you get that done, you can go home. Yeah. And they'll be like, "Okay." And you, nine out of ten, guess what? 
you're going to get eight hour work out of the six hours because they're going to get it done faster and like I can go home now you did two things yeah. you fucking saved your cost and you made your employee happy you know that's the big problem that's the big thing I, and I have went that route a little bit, but I'll take that advice a little bit further because, like, I have been like, hey, as long as this gets done, by this time, you can get home. That's what I say. Because they ask. Like, I'm not going to get into it a lot. Joseph, what can we get off here? <sighs> like, man, when you get off your lazy ass and finish it! <laughs> I, I got... See, and the biggest <laughs> problem to me, every time I was a supervisor that I found was the biggest problem also was people not showing up. Always have an excuse why they can't I mean, that's classic because that's the two things I've been through. I'm already going... I went through the person I go and show up. Best fucking motherfucker I had. I swear to God. Best... When he was there, best fucking one, hands down. Really? He was just never fucking there. (laughs) He was just never there? He was just never there. That sucks. Like, like, I felt like he had a better memory than... I didn't feel like he had a better memory than I do, which improved like upon me. So he was like better than I was, and I was but above doing him. your b- business. Yeah, but so I was he was making look, you look good. Yeah, yeah, he could. He had the, but he was never there. So he <laughs> <laughs> so really looked bad. He could have, but he was never there. <laughs> so, oh, damn. But 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 legit. So they had to fire him, right? Because he was just never fucking there. Yeah. But. Like, I've got, and now I've got the other, on the other flip side of, like, not, hey, what time can I go home? Like, when you get your fucking shit done. Just tell them this. Like, I need this, this, and this done. Because, what do you got? Paperwork? And fucking some other shit? And I've got, I've got other things that I could do that distracts with? from, like, bigger things that are supposed to happen. So I could do with the little shit, tell them what to do and what's expected. And go about the other things. Yeah, that's what I would do. I, I would just tell them, hey, because what are they all, the, how many hours do you guys work? Eight or ten? We we work nines until Friday, and then it's an eight. So. I would, I, yeah, I would just be like, hey, man. But that's the thing. This like, because I would give them a reasonable amount of work. But see, what are you, a warehouse? Yeah. So they have no choice. Because <laughs> no, fucking, no, no. What's crazy about warehouses? You got to get all but that we shit work out. The, we work in the returns you, department. All oh, your returns. We're returns. Oh, you're so not shipping or no, receiving. I, my department ships, and can receive on rare occasions. But we do some shipping, yes. But we also do other things for like, hey, the vendor needs us to get this, this, and this from this item get it take pictures of this whatever the fuck shit like that you know i i do that i'm in charge i'm inventory supervisor over inventory returns oh gotcha so we we do some like scratch and push it back we can do that but we also can we also have our own shit where we like sell like oh really damaged shit like scratch and dent yeah really yeah oh wow that's crazy. So, like, yeah, there is, there's all kinds of different shit that we have to do. We have a bunch of different jobs. We do more than everybody. Mm-hmm. Like, there's two departments that have, like, <laughs> that... Don't sound conceited No, or no, that. no, no. There's two departments we that We do have, more than everybody. Fuck okay, them. There's one area, a big, pretty decent room, just one decent room, maybe a half of another one. It's pretty big. Bigger than this place, for sure. <laughs> for sure. But... They have that area. The next place has the same amount of area. And both of them have like nine employees total. Oh, really? I got three people right now, including me. And I've got like quadruple any department that's there. And they're like, ah, you're good. You got three people. You're fine. We need like 20. It's like, come on now. I got like five, six times the space of both of you put together. (laughs) (laughs) But... Yeah, this is. Like I'm on the fence because on this is fence. my fir- it, it, it's my first you get leadership sick days, position. You get sick days and shit like that. Eventually, not yet. Not yet. No, but like I'm on no the vacation f- days. Like yet? I, not yet. Not until like October. But you get both of them. You get but sick days. Yeah, yeah. And I get vacation. sick and vacation. Yes. How long y'all be there before you get that? First year. But they've been. How long you been? There? But they've been really cool about my schedule. 
So yeah, if I, I need time off, there, I haven't even been there a year. Really? No. Nah. Oh. So I October will be a year. Oh, October. Yeah. That's right out of the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, because time goes, boo! <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, it really does. It really fucking does. But anyways, I'm on the fence about being supervisor. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, man. I'd never be a supervisor ever again. Unless I was a fucking director. If I was making a movie, I'd be like, hey, because guys. Because it's your vision. This is what you need to do you now. You know what you... It's yeah, like you. That, you know, fucking... Uh, but it, it, it's just... I don't know. Like, a supervisor at, like, a McDonald's or a fucking... No, fu- I couldn't work it would any suck type of, Because like, food. you would have to fucking, like, pick up so much slack. Yeah. Because... People call off all the time, and there's fucking high turnover rates, and fucking, oh, it would suck so much, like, to be a supervisor at anything other than, because I was a supervisor at a warehouse, and it's like, this sucks. It sucks. Like, I gotta do all the work, tell people what I want done, they get and then it done, do it because they don't and they do it right. Do it right. Yeah. <laughs> it just sucks. <laughs> or everything would be right except one thing. You can't figure out what this one thing is. You gotta go through all the work. Yeah. Fucking, um, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't like... It's, it, but I, see, maybe that's our flaw. If we, we'd rather be told what to do. No, I, I'd rather just, propaganda. like, to me, I'd rather just be my, be me and do it all. And say, this is what you get. I get that. Fucking, uh, I don't I want that. no teammates. I don't want no I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of like doing this. Like, if we could get paid for doing this... Oh, yeah, that'd be sweet. See, my arm still fucking... It's fucking... I lifted it up over that and... It oh! But it's, it's hurting less and less here and there. I I kind of think I tore my rotator cuff. I've been there. But, I feel like I've been there, but I've never been but checked out. I, I, but see, what, it's crazy because, like... Usually when you tear a ligament or something, like, shit swells and mm. you can't do certain things, but it gets better more and more that like, you use it, and I don't know, man. Anyways, fuck being a supervisor. Yeah, fuck that. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in, Drunk of the Sun. This is Joe and Tom. Thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for subscribing and liking. From Drunk of the Sun, the podcast about everything and anything under the sun. So check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Instagram. We're posting new shit every week. See ya.